Hi, welcome to Auntie Nets Crochet. Thank you for choosing this tutorial video. Do check out my other videos too if you don't mind. Please do subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is at this corner of the uh, video. And uh, I have hundreds of videos from crochet to amigurumis, clothes to toys, hats to bags and lots more to come. And today I'm going to make a pot, a potted plant, a crochet potted plant. So this is for the soil, this is the pot, and these are the leaves, the plant. And all these are five ply cotton yarn. And this time round, I'm going to use a 4mm hook. Okay, now let's start. Okay, now I'm going to start by making the pot. You can choose any color for your pot. I'm going to start off by making a magic circle. You curl it around your finger, make a cross. You see two lines here. Put your hook, grab the one below, and make a knot. And inside this magic ring, or you can call it a magic circle, I'm going to do eight single crochet. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can actually count back here on the V shape here. Two, four, six, eight. Then you pull this tight. I'm gonna get ready a marker because this is going to go round and round and round so if you're not sure where is the first stitch you can come back from here the V shape here one two three four five six seven eight so this is the first one because sometimes uh, for beginners they might mistaken this for the first stitch so you go to the first V shape that is your first stitch If you want to hide the tail, you can. It's optional. So this is the second row. Wait, let me add a marker. Second row, I'm going to do increase. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. Oops, wait. Okay, let me show you again. I'm going to practice doing yarn under instead of yarn over. I'm not going to slip stitch here, I'm going to straight away go to row 2 Wait. This is yarn under This is yarn This is yarn over And this is yarn under So up to you whether you want to yarn over or yarn under But I'm practicing for my next project but if you're doing amigurumi, yarn under would look better. So this is yarn under. I'm going to do increase. So let me add a marker. If this hole gets bigger, let's pull again. Increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. So I'm going to do increase in all the stitch.
we started with eight stitches now I'm doing increase in every single stitch so which means this row I should have 16 stitches pull this a bit so I have 16 stitches so this is row 2 now we're going to go to row 3 row 3 I'm going to do single crochet you do one single crochet at a mark of us and you do an increase increase means two single crochet into the same stitch so this is single crochet this is increase so you do single crochet increase single crochet increase so single crochet increase is one set so you're going to do eight sets of this and by the time you come back here you should have 24 stitches okay now for row four row four i'm going to do a single crochet wait let me add a marker you do one single crochet and you do increase increase means two single crochet into the same stitch and you do one single crochet single crochet increase single crochet that makes one set so which means you do eight sets and by the time you come back here you should have 32 stitches so in another words it also means that once you do your increase you just do single crochet in the next two before you do your next increase and by the time you come back here you should have one more stitch left because you have one here one here so add up become two if you want your pot to be this small you can stop now I want it to be slightly bigger so I'm going to do two more rounds and the next row row five I'm going to do single crochet in the next three two three and you do increase one two three increase one two three increase you're gonna do eight sets and by the time you come back here you should have 40 stitches okay now for the last round last row for this base here this is row six I'm going to do single crochet in the next two so this is one and let me add my marker two oops sorry wait let me do that again okay one two after two i'm going to do increase increase means two single crochet into the same stitch and I'm going to do single crochet in the next two again. So two, increase, two. This makes one set. So by the time you come back here, you should have eight sets. And you should have 48 stitches. So let me show you again. In another words, it means... Here, after the increase... You do four single crochets. Oh, single crochet in the next four. Then you do increase again. So it's like two, increase, four, increase, four, increase, four, increase. And by the time you come back here, you should have two more stitch left. So two plus two, you get four. So this is the last row. Okay, once you have come to the length that you want, whether it's a smaller pot or a bigger pot, once you get the length that you want, you make one more in the soy color. 
my soy color is dark brown you can actually get black or dark blue or whichever color you think it's you have or it's fit for a pot so make one exactly the same because this one I'm gonna cover it on top of the pot and make sure you leave a long tail to sew this onto the pot come on next after this I'm going to build the pot this way up okay so now I'm going to do single crochet onto the back loop if you notice there's a V shape here this is the front loop oops sorry this is the front loop and this is the back loop so now I'm going to do single crochet all on the back loop so just go to the back loop and do single crochet and once I reach the end here I'll come back to you and show you how it look like okay I've did one row of single crochet on the back loop and now you can fold it this way and now we're gonna work our way up until the length that you want whether you want to be a gonna be a short pot or a tall pot so from here on you just do single crochet all around until you come to the length that you want now I'll come back to you once I have the length that I want and you just continue I get back to you okay I've come to the length that I want about this height so I've cut the yarn just bring this over hide the yarn inside here so even though here it looks like there's a small gap there we're gonna make this plant that looks like hair and cover this part here <laughs> so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't turn out right this side so long as you just hide the yarn around here, you know, just make it tight. And now I'm going to put the eye. I'm gonna add two eyes here. One here and one over here. Maybe here like this and this there's this pin here you can just lock it and later I'm gonna sew some white parts here and some black parts with eyelashes if you want you can make it further down then here I'll make a mouth and let me make the eye first just grab a yarn a white yarn actually I should do this before I add the stopper not sure if I can remove it now. No, I don't think so. And I, I can just go down here. Let me see. Should it be here? Okay, you just hold one of the end. And you just add or here maybe
By right, I should do this first before I add the stopper. So that the stopper will kind of keep it tight. Keep the yarn inside. Like this. And put it here. Just to see a little bit of the white. This is optional. If you do not want to do this, you can just leave it as a pot. Or can you just leave the eyes like this without the white part or the black part? So I'm gonna tie this later on. As for the black eye, I should do somewhere here. I oh know here, I guess. Make it go and tie all these ends later on. Make it go over here. And later, one more here. There. Make it look more girlish. And here. Make sure you do not pull too tight. And here. Oops. Maybe make one more eyelashes here. Like this. Is it too high? Yeah. Can redo that. Sometimes this is kind of like my drawing board. <laughs> if you do not like it, erase it and draw again. Maybe here. And all the way here. looks more girlish so up to you how do you want to play with the eye and then let me go get some red yarn for the mouth and a little bit of nose I'll come back to you once I get those colors ready okay now let me finish the other eye as well So since this side I have not added the stopper yet, so it's kind of easy to insert the needle. Okay, once I have this, I can tie a knot. So that it won't come off. And now 
the black part, the eyelashes. It should be here. It goes all the way here. Sorry. <laughs> it comes out here in the middle. Comes out here. Go all the way here. One box away. And one more here. And put it back to this hole here. So you have an eyelashes like this. And the back here, just tie a knot. And here, just add your stopper for the eye. So now at least I add my stopper now, it won't interfere with the sewing. So I'm gonna look like this. Now I'm going to add a little bit of nose Somewhere here Tie the end to one of the end So that it won't come off So I'm going to make few rounds here make it look like a tiny nose like this and just go back to the same spot and do one or two rounds and you will have a nose Depending how big you want the nose to be. Do not pull too tight. And just make it bounce like this. So you have a nose here. This is optional. If you do not want the nose, it's okay. And just don't make the nose. So you're gonna look like this. Now you look kind of like a bird, right? <laughs> Wait till I add the lips. Okay, I can just leave this inside here. Tie a knot. Leave the rest inside and now for the lips I have this and this is too long and just so from this end to this end but before you pull tight go down here and you will have a smiley mouth like this Or you can have it wider if you want. And this one, you put it back into the same hole. And you will get something like this. Don't pull too tight. And you will get it. Oh, okay. Don't pull too tight. 
can get a U shape or you can get a V shape. So up to you, if you want a V shape, then maybe two rows down. You want to get a U shape, maybe one row down. Okay, so next we're going to do the hair. Okay, I'll just show you one of the example of the plant or the hair. So this is a chain 10 plus one. I chain 10, I add one and I just do single crochet all the way down and it will curl and let it curl. Okay, so this is 10, so this is this short, this is 20, you can make 15, 18, but 10 is kind of short. So I am going to add it here, gonna put through here. You can go through the same hole, you can go to the, the next stitch, you pull it over and tie a knot and you will have a hair here. So depending how short you want it to be, maybe the front part of the head is kind of short and you have longer hair at the back. So up to you whether you want to fill up the whole thing or you just fill up randomly. Yeah, I'll just show you one of it, how it looked like. And this is just my habit of making a knot. You make sure you have some tail here for you to tie it to the pot. So let's say this time I will chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So once I have chain 15, I just add one. Go to the second stitch from the hook. This is the hook. First stitch, second stitch. Go to the second stitch. And start to do your single crochet. All the way down. So it's a good thing that I have this yarn where it is in a multiple of green, you know, like green, dark green and green. So once you make this, it will turn out like, you know, certain parts of the leaves are so long it doesn't look so green all the way. It has some lighter green, darker green. And once you do single crochet until the very end it will curl see it starts to curl so it does look like some sort of plant So once you reach the end here, I just cut the yarn. Make sure you have a little bit of tail left and tie a knot so that it won't come off easily. The crochet part and tie a knot. Okay, and the top part here you just let it curl. And you just make as many as you like, how long you like, and depending on your pot. You can measure it against your pot. So you're gonna look like this. It's all over the top. So one glance, it looks like a pot of plant. And your pot has eyes and mouth. I'll come back to you and show you in the end how the whole thing looks like. Okay, this is how it looked like. The top part this is the bottom part. I still have two more. <laughs> I think I'll just add it on. Don't waste. Okay, normally I will open up the bottom part, the back part. 
and search for a spot to okay maybe here just put my yarn there and pull through okay, one went through now another one just hold it and take a look at see I pull from here so next one should be here this the stitch next to it pull through tie it up it's really like planting the seeds one by one <laughs> So here, I think maybe I have two more here. Okay, here and here. Just, oops. Put your hook over. And check where is the yarn. And pull through. So this is the one. And another one here. Let me see. Okay, I found one hole here. It's this and this. It does look like a mess now. Okay, I think that's about it. I ran out of green yarn anyway. <laughs> it does look like some sort of plant, right? Okay, so now here, this cute little cup, I've added stuffing. Don't have to add too much because we can add as at when we sew. By the time we sew to about, you know, a bit left, then we can push more in. So as at now, I just leave it like that. And make sure when you sew, all this is inside, hidden inside. None comes up. Should not be shown in front. Okay, let me get my. Where did I stop? Okay, here. This is where I stop. And I remember here, the back here, this is the front part. Why I know this is the front part is because I did some short leaves here so that it will not cover the eye and the rest are a bit long see here is long here is long here is short so I purposely make sure this is at the back to remind myself this is the front okay so it should be something like this so this should be the back. Okay, this time round I should use a tapestry needle instead. It's easier with all this mess. I don't think I can crochet around it. Okay, just let me double check if this is, if this is the front. Yep, the short hairs are here and the short part are here on the eye side, on the eye. Okay, I'll just do one stitch. So, when you stitch, just make sure, I just go one on the one stitch here and one stitch here so when you pull you can't really see the brown part it's kind of hidden inside so once on the soy and once on the pot once on the soy one stitch on the soy one stitch on the pot and make sure all this stay inside 
this part here you just leave it as it is once we have this nicely connected you can actually shape it again reshape it and curl it again you know some didn't curl well you can curl it again so remember once you down here it goes up this way oops should be two strand okay this way and this way this is like cross uh, crochet just take this stitch and this stitch and when you sew you can't see eh? you can't really see it's hidden you can't see the brown color so you continue until I get the whole thing secure if you have enough yarn you want to do two round you can but I think one round should be enough and when you sew make sure all this does not get tangled <gasps> oh gosh and by the time you are three quarter way through if you want you can add more stuffing you can add more stuffing later not now yeah, I'll come back to you once it, I'm done and show you how the final plant, final potted plant look like. It should be adorable. <laughs> and this is how the final product look like. Once you have sold the whole thing nicely, you can uh, shape it around. Make sure it look, look more like a pot and uh, you can shape the hair too see whether you want it more this way or this way so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you find this absolutely adorable please share my videos let many more people able to enjoy making this cute pot of plant so thank you for your support and i'll see you in my next post